how to combine multiple worksheets easily in Excel. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. And in today's video, I am going to be telling you how you can combine multiple different workbooks easily in one workbook so having said that let's just jump into the video so first things first what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna open up a blank workbook and i have some example workbooks over here as well this is like the all region one and i'm gonna open this up as well so actually what we can do is we can actually go ahead and download them i'll download this workbook and now i'm gonna go ahead and click on file click on open and click on open and click on files from this device and open up the workbook so it's uploading it over here give it a couple of seconds and we should be good to go all right so here we go so it's now opened up and as you can see we have multiple different workbooks right here you can see we have multiple different options available to us so now as you can see there aren't a lot of stuff over here but let's just say there's quite a lot of entries over here like say thousands of them and going over them one by one might be difficult so you might want to combine them there are other ways to integrate the data as well like click on data and you can import them from here but this works as well so here we go we can see we have the files right here all right so as you can see i'm on the windows application i downloaded the excel app and another cool way to import all the data is if you come over here click on data right and then click on from other sources and then click on from xml data import and then just select the file you should find it over here you can see we have all the you know files right here all the tables click on okay even first rows and header containers right if they have that uh check this box if not it's okay and then just simply click on okay and now you have select how you want to view this data book right in your workbook as a table pivot table you know existing worksheet new worksheet add this data to the data model whatever you want to call it and then just simply click on okay and there you go you have one of them it should have imported all of them i think i made a mistake let me try that again actually so if i click on over here click on existing click on browse for more all right here we go so i wanted to select all of them but i think i can't i can only select one of them which is kind of weird but that's existing databases all right see i knew i was making a mistake it wasn't from other sources you have to click on new query all right and then click on form and then select from the excel workbook all right and then select the file it's going to go ahead and connect it and now you can see if you click on each of these files all right you can select them and have like a preview of the file and see how it looks like and then you can go ahead and click on select multiple files and you can import all of them like that and you can click on load to load them up but that will just you know import all of them in the sheet with different columns that's not what we want all right so what we'll do is we'll click on one of them and then click on transform data it's going to open up the power query editor and here you can see all of the data that we've imported and this is like from one sheet and here you can see the applied steps so every time you make a change you can see it over here change type promoted editors navigation and source right so what you need to do is i'll just go ahead and just remove all of them and we're going to be left with the main data itself you can see right here north sales uh, south sales e west sales and east sales right we have our date data table over here uh, we have our items uh, kind and sheet we don't want this we just want the uh, first two so what we'll do is click on choose columns all right and just select the columns that we want we don't want the uh, this one or this one or this one we just want the name and the data so we'll go ahead and click on ok this will allow us to have two of them and you can see right here in the data there's like this expand column option we can see all of the columns that can be expanded so let's go ahead and click on ok and we can see all the data columns are over here so you can see right here north sales south sale west sales and east sales all over here in one sheet instead of having to have multiple different uh tabs in one sheet so we can see we have a bunch of different options but there's also this little null thing right we don't want this some of the data might have been imported incorrectly so let's go ahead and fix that as well 
so let's go ahead and do that so first of all, what we'll do is we'll have to make sure that we use first rows as headers right so we're going to come over here and click on this button right here called first rows use first row as header we're going to click on it it's going to copy the first row and transform them into headers right there we go now you can see that now next what you want to do is click on each of these headers right let's say for example date we're going to fix the null we're going to click on date you can see we have other options as well because north date and then we have some west dates uh, east dates so we're going to fill this filter this out so what we'll do is click over here onto the column filter them out unselect null and unselect date then we're going to click on okay there you go now it's much more cleaner now we have a proper 80 entries of the sheet without any errors we have the dates customer names products and everything right it's pretty simple and pretty clean and also before i forget i wanted to change the name of this one so i'll just rename this column from north sales to all sales there we go and now all we're set to go so now what we'll do is we'll click on close and load right close and load to or close and load and now you can see instead of having multiple different sheets we now have one sheet that has that data let me just delete this we'll just keep this one right here and i'll rename it to sales there you go so now we have an entire sheet of one sheet that contains all of the stats now let me just show you how you can combine multiple different workbooks and transform them into one workbook right so for that i will go back to file right and i will open up a new one i'll just basically save this file right here to this pc documents there you go it's gonna be my I'm gonna save that over there and next what we'll do is we're gonna click on a new worksheet a blank worksheet and you'll see right here we're gonna go into data and we're gonna click on new query and this time we're not gonna go with from file we're gonna select from folder not from excel workbook but from folder i'm gonna click on folder and we should have it let me actually make sure that i have it here we go so this is the folder it has all the files so now i'll just open up the workbook and go from query from file from folder select the folder right click on open and now it's going to show me all the files over here now i do want to make sure that when you are doing this you have to make sure that all the schema from all the files are correctly the headers are correct the tabs are named correctly they can be in different sortings but you have to make sure the names and the spelling and everything are exactly the same so now once that's done all you got to do is click on combine and click on combine and load to and then just select the file that you have created which is this one which is the previously that we've created right and then click on okay and now wait for a couple of seconds and click on load and you should be good to go now you can see all the files that we have added right here 80 rows and 80 regions and there we go it's over here as well let me just refresh this there you go so now we have all of the files in one folder as well and that's how you can combine multiple different workbooks in one sheet as well so there you go this is how you do it this is how you combine multiple different workbooks in one sheet so thank you guys for watching hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did be sure to hit the like button subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications and i will catch you guys in the next video and i'll see you and goodbye